The Knights of UCF have had a great 2008-2009 campaign, a year that saw them not only win the Conference USA Championship, but one that also saw them win the Southeast Regional, earning them a trip to this year's National Championship at Inverness. You know, I think we've had a great year. We've won four times, and, and the win regionals is kind of icing on the cake, and, and we'll see how we can do here. Been the best year I think I think UCF's ever had, winning the conference, winning the regional, and being here at nationals. You know, knowing we can compete, knowing that we can beat the best teams in the country. For one of Kleiner's players, just playing golf is rewarding enough. Brad Schneider, a freshman on this year's squad, almost missed the opportunity to not only play for UCF, but golf altogether. Flashback to Thanksgiving weekend of 2006, where an innocent game of touch football with friends almost turned into the end of a promising future. Caught a pass, was running behind a couple of my, behind a couple of my friends, um, saw one of the guys on the other team catch up to me, um, got me from, from behind, pulled my shoulders back, and my right leg got caught behind me, and um, ended up kind of falling over onto my like, left shoulder, and uh, saw my the, basically like the outside of my right foot come up to my face. Brad went through eight hours of surgery for a broken femur in his right leg that broke in five different places. That was just the beginning of bad news for Brad. Complaining of pain that night um, and into the morning, um, the doctor started doing tests in the morning for you know blood clots and stuff like that. Somebody ended up saying compartment syndrome and they tested for that. Schneider has had special custom braces made just so he can play endured over one year of rehab, and saw his 150-pound frame dwindle down to a mere 98 pounds. Still, this night persevered and kept grinding to do whatever it took to make the lineup for the Knights. When I, when I finally knew what was going on, um, I had my doubts. I was, you know, what, what's, what's this going to do? I'm, I'm just, I'm learning to walk again, what, what, you know. But nothing was going to keep me from, from getting on the golf course and trying and see, seeing what I could do again. After I started swinging it, um, knowing that I could still still hit the ball pretty well, um, it was just a matter of working out and doing rehab and getting my strength back to, to hit full shots and knowing that I could that I could play again. Schneider doesn't think of himself as handicapped, but says he occasionally feels pain after he's done playing. However, it's a pain that you get from something you enjoy doing, and that's a pain worth dealing with. I mean, they really respect him. They respect what he does and, and his desire to succeed. And, and um, they, they really are involved. I think they, it kind of carries over to the other guys. You know, he, he never lost support in me. He, he always said, he, he, he always said, you know, I, I believe in you. I'm, I, you know, we think you're, we, we know you're going to come back. We know you're going to give us all you, all you can. You know, it was, his support has been huge um, for me to come back and, and know I'm, know I'm going to be competitive again.